But the idea here is that this molecule comes into our brain and is shifting everything towards a state of focus, elevated mood, of heightened sense of importance about whatever it is that we happen to be doing. And now, of course, whatever we could happen to be doing could be writing a song, writing poetry, communicating with somebody, but it could also be something as trivial as watching cartoons or watching a movie, which is, you know, not trivial in its own right, but in terms of thinking about the creative aspects or the creativity stimulating aspects of cannabis, not um, sort of productivity oriented. So narrowed focus, elevated mood, more relaxed and yet energetic. That's the major effects of the sativa varieties, except, and this is a really big, bold faced, triple underlined except, except in some individuals, depending on dosage, but also depending on pre-existing neural circuitry and propensity for anxiety, some people ingest or smoke sativa varieties. And regardless of whether or not it's a type one, type two, or type three variety, okay, regardless of the ratio between THC and CBD, people will experience intense anxiety and paranoia. 